The latest Buzz Angle report states that music streaming accounts for as much as 85% of all recording revenues, while the global average is at around 38. It's not what hmm. IFPI says about Africa or Latin America. Streaming revenues accounted for 85%. So what are we, what are we talking about, Buzz Report? Yeah, Buzz Report. Who's I mean, right? I, I, IFPS, it says streaming for the whole freaking industry is like the biggest. Oh, who's bringing down the average, man? What kind? What, what region isn't streaming? Australia, is it you? We need to know. Who's not streaming? Hashtag bring streaming back. Um, that, That's me. I canceled everything. I have PI music report on the sixth page. There's a dope uh, historical graph of industry revenues. In 1999, it was all physical. 2021, all physical is down to like a fifth of all revenues. 2006, there was some digital streaming. 2006 and then freaking 2010 happened what happened in 2010 that's right the Jonas Brothers actually who was popping in 2010 2010 um I was gonna say the rise of Justin Bieber started 2009 okay that makes more sense younger people Justin Bieber who else Justin Bieber came about, about uh, like the cusp of the beginning of the streaming age Around that time, we also had a lot of Kanye West, uh, mm. Chris Richard Jay-Z was popping. Mm. Who else was I listening to? 2009, 2010. That was eighth grade. I don't know who I was listening to. Was I even alive? <laughs> Can you actually confirm or deny that you lived in 2008? Do you have pictures? I literally have no proof. <laughs> I don't... I don't think I, it's, it's pretty cool that like people with kids now can really document like their whole life pretty easily. Yeah. I have videos of like eighth grade. That's some, some baby VCR stuff or like video camera, but only like one year and then it just skips to like <laughs> elementary. I skipped my childhood. That makes sense. If Justin Bieber, you get a lot of younger people. Uh, what label was Justin under? He was under Def Jam, I think. Was he? I believe so. Oh, wow. Technically, it says justinbieber.fam.com, which is a uh, thematic wiki page. He signs with Def Jam in 2008, but he was under the Def Island Def Jam music group published by Island Records. Teen Island from 2009 to 2011. So he was a, he was a couple... He's under like 11 music labels at once. It's a That's stack true. and universal at the top. Yeah. It's, 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 uh, there's more levels in the freaking banging industry than there is the music. So Pretty one many, to one. It's basically like loans still. So many people just like taking a fat check, like out of this poor little boy's cut. Banking and music, man. Why do you think, uh, music is so pushed towards the, the forefront of culture? Because I think music is a drug that people can't get away from. But also, there's a whole lot of infrastructure that people get paid from. 